Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think anything will, will reach that shock value, you know, of Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney. Two big balls for Ryan Garcia. Another left hook for Ryan Garcia. Oh my God! Oh my gosh! Oh my God! Oh my God! Yeah, I was like thinking, man, we we might have seen the biggest upset in boxing since Tyson and Bugler, Buster Douglas. <laughs> They had to meet six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what it is, man. The doctor's in the house. So today, man, <laughs> I don't. I, 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 you know, I don't just like to, uh, those of you who pay attention to the channel, man, of course we always bring you the news that's unfiltered, unbiased, <laughs> unbiased, bullshit, 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 and accurate news, you know what I'm talking about, in, in, in the box around, but I don't just like to just do that by itself, man, you know, I also like to uh, spark conversation and pose thought-provoking questions, so today I was just thinking about, man, you know, the Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, man, that was a great fight, man, it was a wonderful upset for boxing, I was like, dang, man, do we have any potential upsets that could be of the magnitude or even come close to the magnitude in which this upset with Ryan Garcia of Devin Haney was and I was like man I don't really think so man so because Tyson Fury Usyk that's a pretty close matchup no matter who you have I have Tyson Fury what but no matter who wins it's not really considered a big upset even Bivol and better be if that's a better fight you know a competitive fight anticipated to be competitive but fairly 50-50 um, no matter who you have winning wouldn't be a big upset I'm thinking like I think Canelo and Munguia, if Munguia wins, that's a big upset, but it's not Garcia and Haney because, you know, Canelo has, what, 64 fights? He's 32 years old, but he has 64 fights, so he has a lot of fights, man. He's been going for a long time, and Munguia's a young, a young, strong bull, so even if that's an upset, I think because Canelo's, you know, Canelo's a face of boxing and, and number three pound for pound, in my opinion, it, it, would, it, would shake, it would shake boxing, but it wouldn't be as big of an upset as Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. Oh, wow! Even if... Uh, Tank versus Frank Martin, you know, Frank the Ghost Martin. I think people discredit Frank Martin um, skill wise, but even then, if he beats Tank, it's not as as bad as uh, Ryan Garcia or as shocking. I shouldn't say bad. It was not as shocking or intriguing as Ryan Garcia being Devin Haney. Just think about everything, all the circumstances surrounding that fight. You know, Ryan Garcia's erratic behavior, whether he was trolling or not. You know, the, the, the fact that people thought that the fight was in jeopardy. So there was just all, if, just all things considered, man, that wouldn't even be as crazy as Ryan Garcia being Devin Haney. And that was like maybe Lewis Neary versus, versus uh, Inouye. But even then, they don't have the personalities and the renown to even, you know, I, I like that fight. You know, of course, I respect Inouye. I think he's number two pound for pound. But even then, if Lewis Neary beats him, it wouldn't have that shock value. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and plus, a lot of people, unfortunately, don't pay attention to the smaller weights. Puny God. So, man, I, I really, I'm trying to think who else, man, of, of the upcoming fights. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think anything will, will reach that shock value, you know, of Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney. I was like thinking, man, we, we might have seen the biggest upset in boxing since Tyson and Bugler, Buster Douglas. <laughs> To be honest with you, I mean, even thinking back, you know, I was like, man, you know, uh, those of you that have been watching boxing for a minute, you know, B-Hop versus Kelly Pavlik was a was a big upset. But even that doesn't have the upset shock uh, upset. It has a shock value because just because B-Hop was o much older at that point in time, but B-Hop was a he's a decorated champion. I believe he still has the longest rainy longest reign and tenure of uh, being a middleweight champion. I think Triple G has the most successful title defenses at 22, but B-Hop has a second most at 20 but he has the longest time span of being a middleweight champion um so he has the longest reign so that 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 falls short of ryan garcia and then i was thinking of, of another one too um what was the other one that was I, I thought of too one hour later that was a pretty big upset um two hours later oh yeah we had uh anthony joshua versus andrew Ruiz. that first one where andrew Ruiz beat anthony joshua you had one job 
Just the one. That was wild. That was wild. But even still, I still think uh, I would have Ryan Garcia right now and beating Devin Haney over that. <laughs> But either either way, I, I think I think Mike Tyson and Buster Douglas is the only one that that comes close to right. I mean, I think I think the biggest upset that we've seen was uh, <laughs> since Mike Tyson and Buster Douglas is definitely Ryan Garcia versus uh, versus versus Bernard Hopkins. Man. So yeah, that's crazy. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about that, man. Do y'all have a have an upset that is as big or whoa? Fuck, fuck, fuck. That was a B right there. My bad. Do y'all have an upset in mind that's upcoming that could be as big as that, or do you can you think of an upset in the past that was bigger than that as well? Like I said, of course you have um, you know um, Ali and Liston, of course, but even still, I think uh, you know since what Mike Tyson and Buster Douglas is definitely the most recent. So you know, let me know if y'all think that Ryan Garcia or Devin Haney can be top this year from any battle that's uh, that that's, that's uh, any potential battle that's scheduled. I mean, even if Bud Bud Crawford loses to Israel Madrimov, I still that would be that that'd be crazy. Don't you evil on me Ricky Bobby don't you put that on us but Terrence Crawford loses to Israel Madrimov because Madrimov only has 11 fights he has 10 wins and and, and one draw that would that'd be kind of crazy but it's still I still would have Ryan Garcia being Devin Haney even higher than that just thinking about what Devin Haney has accomplished you know what I'm saying whether you like Devin Haney or not you're still the youngest undisputed champion in the four bell era and he's still um you know, even if you say his 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 his, his career was tr strategically planned out and, and his opponents were uh, per, uh, 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 cautiously selected, he still accomplished a lot, man. So y'all, let me know what y'all think about that in, in, in the comments, man. I want to, I want to hear y'all thoughts. We out. God bless. Peace. The doctor is out. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.